uh, just a quick tutorial on how to use formware to support your models. So as you can see, I've already preloaded a ring. Um, the reason I chose this model is basically because of there's a few sections that you're actually going to have to support and look through. So to start, first thing that I ever do is go into the support mode and then just click the model and select the lower, move into item to the low print position. The reason being is because when you start printing, the first few layers are compressed because they're your burning layers. So it's good to have four to five mil uh, below the model uh, before you start printing. The second thing I actually always do is I look at the model and I use the slide on the left hand side, start from the bottom and slowly make my way up. Just identify any islands. An island is a part of the model which is not connected to any other part of the model whilst it prints. The way that 3D printers work is it prints layer by layer. And as you can see at this point here, this center section is not attached to anything else. So we're gonna have to add a support there. That's actually quite important because if we don't add supports, it's gonna try and print in midair and it's obviously not gonna print or support anything. So as you can see, we're going through and through and it seems like the first part and then up here is the only two islands we have to really worry about. So I go underneath the build plate. I lower the print model until I'm at the lowest point and I select single supports so there and there is where I want to support once you do this time and time again you'll get used to how often you have to put supports in so then in this section I'll put one there one close to the edge there there and so forth the reason being is that you don't want to have too little supports because if you have too little supports it's not going to be strong enough and held onto the build plate properly and obviously then your printer is going to fail and no one wants that to happen so I'll keep going 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 and then that is the first iron that we saw previously so I'm going to add a support either side that side and that side one of the features I would actually like for firmware to implement is actually uh, the mirroring option because as you can notice in jewelry a lot of it is actually symmetrical and if we could actually have it so that the supports are either side and and just following through each way that'd be absolutely fine um hit enter to actually show your supports so this one here has actually got quite a large base and you can change the settings on the right hand side as you can see the tip is 0.6 goes to one mil two mil four mil and then six mil at the very bottom the reason that you have large supports on the base is so that it sticks and has a nice strong connection to the build plate that way it won't fall off during the print and you won't have any problems. So we're going to continue going through our model, just keep them going up and up and up. Any point where you feel is too thin, you can throw a support. So like that section there, it might be worth having a support. For that one, I would use a tree function where I select one side and the other side, hit enter, and it adds a nice chunky tree. Obviously that's overkill for this, so we're just going to lower it down to a more reasonable size support. One mil is generally what I use for most supports going down to the build plate because of there's no point having anything bigger because of it's gonna be strong enough with everything else that you've got going there. Just keep going through the model and then you're on the next island section. So the good thing about tree supports is that it has multiple connections at the top and a single connection at the bottom. Uh, the reason that I say it's good is mainly because of, let's just chuck one there, there. As you can see, if it ever shows up red, it means that you're actually touching the model. And you can just slide it across and just fix that. So the support method I'm using on this one uh, is actually for cheap LCD printers uh, or the Form 2. The reason being is because of the amount of supports that I'm using and the actual size of the supports that I'm using. So, free support, either side, and then you can see that it goes down into a large section underneath. Again, we don't need to do that thick, so I'm just going to change a few settings on the right hand side. And there we go. We'll keep them going up and then that's the model fully supported as you can see there's actually quite a lot of supports on this model 
and we actually don't need that much the reason being is because of it is a little bit too much ideally if we have just the center section there the first three supports and then any islands supported it would actually be enough 